Seeing as it's almost certainly going to get them killed. Then Finland. You know what, Finland? I have 40,000 guns. I can give you some. How is everything else looking? We need more fighters. For sure. Let's double fighter production. Take we have we have so many guns. We'll actually take some off guns for now. Put them straight into fighters. Austria, sure, we'll take your uh, troops. We need more aluminum. Get that from the American Union States. Well, at least you know try to get it from the American Union State. Yeah, 94, 95. This area will fall. I mean, how many troops does Russia have? I mean, not honestly that many. How are supplies looking? Completely okay. Yeah, 54 right now. Again, you're still in Baltic territory. Is there a way that we can get here? I mean, the answer is yes. We can try to go, like, around. Like, go here and then, like, this. It's not going to be the best round in the world, but it's going to be better than nothing. Research for you. You're kind of garbage. I guess the oil must flow. And try to get as much oil as we can. Send you down south. Okay, we want to give Finland at least a little bit more maneuverability. Belgium's actually trying to fight. I mean, that's a little bit ballsy, I would say. It's like technology. Oh, it's 1940. Let's go for the 1942 research. So we do have a research bonus for that. I think only, like, a few guys are trying to leave. Ron's capitulated. Ruse joined up with a faction. You're at 81, 82. I mean, if we can clear out this big, big army... Like, it has to be good for us. Right? Like, I can't imagine it would be going bad. Also, let's open this back up. You know, 90%. I mean, that, that might be, like, the entire Belarusian army. Just kind of stuck back there. We've got 600 defense. Premier superiority, intel advantage, terrain. I'll take all your stuff. Keep making some maneuvers here. Okay, we've made it into this province. The game still hasn't figured out that we've made it into this province. But it should in a second. Wow, 
Fight here, fight here, you move here. More progress on this line. Why are you going up? I said go down. Oh, you've actually retreated out of this province. Keep fighting here. No, they've they sent reinforcements in. 14 men here. I mean, Belarus is opening up a little bit to us. It would still be nice if I had more, um... Oh, I don't want you. Go, go to the Moroccan front, I guess. Go to Morocco. You can deploy like 11 units. Even then, I guess, where would I put them? I guess I'd put them in pink army up towards the north. I think that kind of makes the most sense for right now. And hold off for a moment. You guys are actually going back into what I would consider like the kill zone. Okay, let's. I mean, we can. You know what? We can just delete some of these. So we're back down to 11. Because the way this will work, I can't deploy. Like, if I go here, deploy. It's going to deploy all of them? Yeah. Send them into pink army. Capture more airports, because I can maybe weaken their air superiority in the region. I mean, they're still putting a lot of men in this little corridor. Like, is it just me or does that seem like a bad idea? 1.5 to 1.13. Yeah, Purple Army's on their way. I mean, how much manpower does Russia have? Right now, Russia has about 350,000. You are at 400, 200, 138. We have more manpower than the entire international put together. Which I think is a big win for us. How are you guys doing? I mean, I think purple reinforcements are here, or pink reinforcements are here now. Go from, I guess, Venezuela? Sure. It's priority. I mean, it's still kind of bad. Three hundred. I mean, we can also build anti air guns in this area if we wanted to. You know, I mean, that's not a bad idea. They cost 250, which is really not that expensive. Let's build like two in each of these areas. I don't. Are anti air guns one of the things that cost more the more you have? No, just 250 flat. Okay, lovely. Okay, you move up, you move down. A handful of international forces here, but I'm not that worried about it. Again, Finland dying doesn't change too much. I mean, we could probably push here. Into Belarus proper. And we'll also shrink. Say orange line to just be where pink line isn't right now. Okay, Peskov has fallen. Which means we just keep on driving further and further down south.
This will be a nice area for us to kill if we get the opportunity to do so. I'm wondering if maybe Ukraine and Russia will go to war? I mean, it'd be kind of dumb for the AI to do that. Because we're not really in a situation, I think, where they can act effectively fight. So have full superiority here. Any more aircraft we can deploy? A bunch of close air support. We can actually crank you up to be a, uh, say, like a full 800. And these guys, we can crank you to be a full 600. I mean, our air force is doing lovely. We're still missing 500 fighters. You guys get replaced in 126 days. I will admit that's not really fast enough. We're definitely not as fast as we want them to be. Any maneuvers we can do here? I don't think right now. India? We're going to be fighting a two-front war. But Russia's also going to be spending a lot of manpower and equipment trying to uh, maintain order in these regions. I guess in the Entente, probably he's not really landed anywhere effectively. They might be sending all their troops over to India. Which, I mean, is not wrong. Probably not what I would do. But I can understand why the AI might want to get that, might want to do it. Okay, Lisbon's fallen. Good work on taunts, as always, showing your worth. Right, 170. We're, we're, we're very close to maybe going up to war economy. <laughs> right now. Like, how many men have died? So far, no Swiss troops have died yet. A lot of Russians have died. A lot of British troops have died, mostly against Portugal. We've only lost 177,000 men, mostly against the Russians, which is not a big surprise. Can't... Britain's lost, like, 100,000 men to the, to the Portuguese, of all people. No, Morocco, I do not want your volunteers. I mean, I, I appreciate the... I appreciate asking. These are also 11 full Panther Divisions. Uh, which we actually definitely want to deploy. But I mean, I can't, like, delete any units right now. I mean, how many light tanks we got in support? 347? It's actually not that many. Okay, I think we did get pushed back one province. I mean, it's not really so bad. I think we're actually kind of glad this is on the war. It probably actually hurt us more than anything. Are you guys here? I mean, I guess I can request the AI's forces, but that... I feel like that's kind of breaking the spirit of things. Okay, push against this. You guys are looking weak. Push against you. We'll still hold Petrograd for a while. I mean, what, are, what law are you on? You're still on limited conscription. I don't know why. Seems like a bad call to me. Like, I really like some more units. 190 divisions or 107 divisions or whatever we have is not enough. And how is air superiority looking? Okay, we're green here. But it would be nice to put some more planes into, uh... White Ruthenia. Like, again, I just want to attack here. 
But the AI will literally not give me any respite. Which, I mean, I understand. It's a little rude, but I understand it. Venezuela's refused the oil treaty. Well, that's incredibly rude of you. So I guess after that... Uh, secure Gibraltar? Does clear war in Poland? Probably not a great idea. Let's go grain and steel. And then you're going to counter here. Force them on two different sides of this lake. Again, there's no way for the AI to, to cross a lake. It's just impenetrable. Let's actually go for one level of cryptology. There's a lot of influence in uh, Germany at the moment for spies. Do you think we can... I mean, like... No, like, there's no way that we can make any maneuvers right now in, in France. I really just don't see it being a possibility. Hold position. Hmm. We just need more men. I can, I can see this being a very, very, very long campaign. Like, we have your superiority, right? Yeah, they're getting affected by, like, horrible, horrible modifiers. So I'm not too sure really what their plan is. If anything, I'd almost say that they don't really have a plan. And again, I don't think Lithuania... Actually, can you do anything? Review the Navy. No, I don't think Ukraine can really join the war. Okay, push in. How are, the Sov How are you guys doing down in India? I mean, it looks like it's more of a stalemate, which I'm good with. You up here. Okay, we push into this province. You're worth one victory point. I'm really just trying to think. I mean, I would say Transmere can attack Russia, but they really can't, actually. If anything, they're more likely to attack us. You know, Chinese revolt, I don't think, is ever going to end. It's just, it's just infinite. Same with the American Civil War, it's just going to last forever. I mean, they are doing some damage. And there's no real denying that. Even here, we have air superiority. I mean, actually, let me, let me look at Poland. 10 to 72. For a quick second, I was like, what if we just invade Austria <laughs> and use them as like another counter front? But you know what? It makes no sense, I think, at the moment to uh, declare war on the Austrians. Let's also just get more infantry divisions ready to go. Just in case. Just have them trading in the background, right? Because who knows when we're actually going to need them. Okay, we're taking this lake. That seems okay. You have, like, you see, no manpower left. I mean, the Russians are almost out of manpower. Which I think is a good thing. Yeah, there's only really one province here. What about the low countries? I mean, you have zero forts down here. So, I mean, a push into northern France, maybe, might not be the worst thing. Oh, we're actually out of rifles now. Maybe, okay, let's not train 48 divisions. How about, like, a nice 24 stack? There we go. Is that a little bit better for us? Yes, okay, now we have 18,000 rifles back in storage. Warhammer 1940. 
And right now, 1.4 million is, we've, we're now killing more than we've taken. I mean, we only, still only lost 20, 220,000 men. Which really isn't so bad. We'll definitely get a decipher against the Russians. Oh, it's going to take 900 days, huh? I go for another level of passive defense. I think Belarus is just kind of a jerk. I think that's how I'm seeing this. But again, Russia's almost out of manpower. Almost. Again, our supply or our superiority here is still completely unquestioned. So don't gotta worry about them too too much. Looks like uh, Italy's actually invaded Sardinia. Ottomans are probably still going to end up losing until they get the Ottoman rejuvenation. Maybe they can pull it back, but seems unlikely to me. I mean, even the Italians have put troops here. I don't really understand why. You can already see, you can see the Russian units are getting weaker now. Right now we're winning 85% of battles. I think that's pretty impressive. Okay, got concentrated industry. Um, let's go for more fuel per oil. Follow that up with... Uh, follow that up with the 1941 light tanks. I mean, I know we're only building light tanks at the moment. We have, we have another thousand in storage. 4,000 artillery pieces, a lot of motorized. Okay, we're just really missing this. Actually, as soon as Green and Steel is done, let's just, just not do another focus. Basically, double our political power gain. Who feels comfortable with innovation? You guys feel pretty good. 900 defense, okay. The push into Zurich, I think those are the first casualties of uh, Switzerland. You know what? I guess these guys here. I don't think I don't think Belgium's gonna fall. Get ready for a push towards Paris. Yeah, I want to do this completely independently. Like I'm kind of upset that Belgium did not uh, declare their independence, which is what they were supposed to do. It's 74. Well, I guess we're also attacking a river, which is, like, not easy. Surprisingly enough. How is our air superiority over northern France? They actually have no sh planes over there. We have a lot of anti-air guns, which is, I think... I mean, how many factories do you have? Do we know how many factories do you have on um, aircraft? You have 10. We have 48. So we should just outproduce aircraft from everybody. Okay, a ton of close air support. Uh, because you already got naval bombers. Might as well put some naval bombers here as well. Put you up to 200. And why don't you bomb the English Channel? Just because bombing the English Channel, I think, is probably a fun time. I mean, it's a level 1 fort. And we've got to make some progress against the French. Like, we can't just only focus on the Russian front forever. Okay, we did push through one province. Yeah, like, they're really, really trying. Okay, they've gone to extensive, so now Russia's going to get some more manpower. It's pretty yours a 16% modifier on you. Somebody's dead. Finland has been annexed. Oh, by Finland? We know we hardly knew ye. Okay, delete this plan. Play on this line. France took this province, because of course they did. They're just going to they're just gonna have this forever, aren't they? I'm pretty sure the answer is a yes. Which is, like, really bad. Oh, 
Okay, they released Finland. The Finnish Socialist Workers' Republic. They might actually take Petrograd back. Given enough time. We can build more anti-air guns, which I think probably makes sense for us. We don't need these. We don't need this. We don't need these anymore. Definitely don't need these ones. More anti-air guns. Okay, got another level pass of defense. Love to see it. One seven. Like, I just... Yeah, Grain Seal is almost done. Then we can actually start generating more political power. You have no fortifications. I mean, you're dug in a lot. Negative 22%. Experience is pretty good on you, uh, which is not awesome. Air support, entrenchment, plus 41% on that entrenchment is really bad. But we get a breakthrough. We can maybe get the AI to reposition our units a little bit. I wonder if we defend one more province like this. Because you're you're a level 5 fort. We can maybe move this 24 stack up north. I feel like that would be nice as well. Do we lose Petrograd? Not quite. Although we could be doing a lot better. Okay. Push you here. I think the 24 stack, delete your plan, and now go into this little section. And you're going to go towards Paris as well. Okay. Progress! We're actually pushing through. Are you strategically redeploying? Yes, you are. I mean, the AI, they're not suicidal enough to attack across a river into mountains into a level 10 fort. Like, that seems... A bit much, I would say. But who knows? They might they might still do it. Let's throw in some interwar bombers. Throw you here, close air support strategic bombing. Okay, but the, the invasion of France is a go. Go, 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 go. You know, I'll actually pull back here. Not you. You stay. Okay, the push has succeeded. We're bringing French troops off the rest of the enemy borders. How many troops do they guys have? I mean, what, we're at 170 exactly. Like, we are definitely outnumbered, right? Four... We're actually not technically outnumbered. I guess technically... I guess we're also at the back of the entirety of the Entente. is included in that number, so maybe it's not as... I think, accurate. Okay. Got Portugal, non-aggression pact. I mean, you guys want fleet basing rights, that's fine. So I have complete air superiority. Yeah, I mean, probably, probably actually should have invaded France way earlier. Just a simpler form of the Schlieffen plan. Okay, you're a little bit more hard to, to break. Hold still. They're gonna get whooped third time in a row. They are, absolutely. I even gave them Alice's Lorraine. So, like... This is this is just them being a dick. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, you hold position. Let's surround um, Lille, because that's worth yeah. We're twenty victory points. It's one of those cities that you definitely need to take to win the war. Like I did everything I could. I embraced the F -O F A U D. I gave women the right to vote. Expanding Austin Wall, secure Gibraltar. Are you still fighting? You know what? Screw it. Let's just ask for Gibraltar right now. What are they gonna do? Say no. How many aircrafts do the French have? 1.4... I mean, it's still a decent amount. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, you guys just want to throw your mana materials away. I'm all for it. Stockpile on Russia seems like they don't they don't have enough equipment to fight. We're almost out of negative political power. Right? I no, don't take your Gibraltar. Get get political power, idiot. Try 81 against you. Like what we really just need to do is spread out the AI as thin as we possibly can. They still have pretty good modifiers. 